Hey, it's getting better, you know? It's just swollen right now, you know? Uh, I think once the swelling goes down, I'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. You know, uh, that's one reason I'm not going to push it. You know, I'm not going to rush back on the field, you know, to, you know, jeopardize my career here. Uh, we have some of the best running backs in the country. You know, Kenya, you know, obviously one of the best running backs in the back 10. And DeAnthony, you know, he's a phenomenal player. And Trey, you know, uh, I'm really confident in those guys can get the job done come Saturday. That means you're not, not think you'll be playing this weekend? I don't know. I mean, I'll have to wait and see. Oh, yeah, definitely, most definitely. Uh, you know, just, you know, getting those guys in line, uh, telling them what they're missing and, you know, what's what's to expect. You know, Arizona State, you know, get a lot of turnovers, and we're going to have to practice a lot of ball security this week. And mostly in meetings? Are you able to do much in practices? Yeah, mostly in meetings. Uh, practice, you know, I just try to keep my conditioning up. Michael, you mentioned that you've been through this before in high school. How similar is this one? Oh, uh, yeah. You know, it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, this one swell up a little more, uh, obviously, uh, but it doesn't hurt any worse or any less. I've seen it live, you know. I don't, yeah. <laughs> don't want to see it again. Y'all need a picture or, or a video to see that thing again. I don't want to see it ever. Oh, you know, it's, you know, obviously, you know, it's frustrating, you know, but uh, I have a great supporting cast. Uh, Coach Cam really helps me out, you know, dealing with situations. And, you know, I know I'm going to be back out there really soon. So, you know, uh, my job right now is, you know, keep the team up and, uh, you know, get the running backs in line for a big uh, matchup. You missed games before. What's it like being on the sideline when your teammates are off the field? Uh, you know, obviously, you know, it's, it sucks in the beginning, you know, but once the game gets started, you know, uh, it's really not that bad, you know. Obviously, you want to be on the field, then uh, if we win the game, then I'll be happy. If we lose the game, I'll be really hurt. You had said that the elbow popped out, and while you were on the field, you popped it back in. Did you do it right? Has it had to be popped out and popped back in? <laughs> <laughs> definitely did it. I definitely did it right, <laughs> at least to my knowledge. <laughs> Uh, you know, I just speak with the doctors, you know, they're going to make the right decision. You know, if I'm able to be back out there, then they're going to give me the OK. But if I'm not, then they're going to give me the no. What, what kind of treatment are you going through? I mean, you said you'd be in there as much as possible. Oh, uh, you know, I, I lift some weights in the swimming pool. You know, it's, it's not that bad. Uh, it's kind of fun. Uh, icing a lot, you know, just getting the swelling down is the big thing right now. Like hours per day? Oh, yeah, it's, it's hours per day. Two hundred and thirty pounds. <laughs> Obviously, you know he's different from me, Kenya, and DeAnthony. Uh, he outweighs us by like fifty pounds. So, just you know, just having that big guy in the backfield, you know, you know, uh, somebody chasing me around or chasing Kenya around all day, then I have to tackle him. You know, he's kind of a bruiser. Is it affecting you in your daily life, like going to school and all that? Is, are the things just in regular life that you can't do because of that? No. Uh, usually, when I go to school, I wear my brace. You know, so everybody know don't bump my shoulder. So, yeah, you know, when it comes to stuff like that, uh, kind of protect it a little more. Will but you no. play with a brace, do you think, when you come back? Yeah, I'm sure I will. Do you have a goal for a game that you want to be back by? Uh, hopefully I'll be back this week, you know. But uh, who knows? Uh, I don't want to miss too many games. Uh, we have to just wait and see. What kind of support have you received from the Oregon Eugene community? Uh, fan, fans been talking to you, writing to you, calling you? I don't know. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, the fans here, you know, they genuinely care about my health, you know, not about winning a football game. You know, that, that really means a lot to me when someone tells me, you know, take care of yourself. It's not always about winning a football game, so that means a lot. How much? Uh, you know, no, I don't think so. Uh, I don't want to jeopardize my, you know, health 
Uh, obviously, I want to be there for my teammates, but I think my health is, you know, have to draw the line, you know, what's important to you. You know, I don't want to go out there and destroy my whole career because, you know, I came back too early. And, uh, you know, if I wasn't confident in Kenyon and DeAnthony and Trey, then obviously I would come back. But uh, I'm very confident in those guys. Are you thinking long term in this process, too, about making your pro career eventually, too, and how it might be affected by this? Uh, you know, I don't really think about pro career. Uh, I'm just thinking about my career here at Oregon right now. How much of uh, running back success is the guy running the ball, and how much of it is the system that you guys run? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, y'all the ones watching the games. You have to tell me. I'm just running the ball, so I guess you can call it whatever you want to call it. You talked about Coach Campbell as being kind of a support mechanism for you. What, what was his advice? For this period of time, was it to kind of get your just get yourself healthy and, and relax and get your mind away from from trying to get healthy? Or what did he tell you? Oh, he knows I'm gonna be fine. He knows I'm tough. Uh, I'm gonna get back there as soon as I can. You know, we just talk about different things. You know, it's not always about football with Coach Cam. If you don't play Saturday, how much of an active coaching role will you take on the sideline with the other guys? I'll be real active. You gonna have a headset? Call some players. I'm gonna get a visor. <laughs> what color? The same one Chip has, man. <laughs> Anything else? Anything? You mentioned just some conditioning in practice. I mean, just obviously, I assume real light workouts the last couple of days, or anything in particular you've been able to participate in? Yeah, I know. I mean, I can still run. That's why I'm happy that you know it's, it's my arm. Uh, it's not my legs. If it was my legs, then, you know, I'd be really, I'd be crying right now and upset. But you know, it's my arm, so I'm still fast. You know, I'm still agile. At least I am running this pool or running at practice. Have you tried like cradling a ball, anything like that, just to see how it feels in the breaks? Oh uh, no, I have not. Um, I haven't got to that point yet. What are some of the biggest breaks risks if you were to come back too early? Is it like Rob was saying, like bending the elbow? Is it getting hit on the elbow? What are some of the biggest risks if you were to? You know, there really isn't any big risk. You know, it is a simple fact of pain and, you know, being sore or me getting hit and it just swelling up even worse. But, yeah, it's it's not like I'm just going to go out there and it's going to break or something. So, I mean, there are risks, but there aren't just, hey, I'm going to be done forever if I come back too soon. So are there any, like, chronic or any concerns? Is this, like, a chronic thing where now it can pop out more frequently? I mean, you ever got some shoulders that suddenly start popping out all the time? I mean, is there any risk, risk of that that you know of? No, you know, they just tell me, you know, eat more Wheaties, so, and I'll be cool. So it doesn't pop back out again the other night, has it? Hmm. No, it has not. Uh, Rajon Rondo did that a couple years ago. He came back and played. Have you looked into kind of his situation? You draw inspiration from the fact that he was back playing basketball a couple of days after he did basically the same thing as you? Uh, I've seen his, and his look a little different. You know, I look at... You know, some of the running backs like Jahavid Best did it, or a kid at Stanford did it. You know, just people who play more in my position who did it. You know, you have, it's a contact sport. You know, basketball is contact, but not like football. Have you talked to any of those guys that you just mentioned, like Best or any other guy, anyone else that suffered an injury like you? No, I think my trainers, you know, they're they're really doing a good job looking it up and, you know, seeing uh, what I'll be able to do or when I'll about, you know, how long those guys are out and how many games they missed. Uh, they're really on top of it right now. Uh, you know, I just tell them, you know, keep the head up. You know, I'm going to be fine. You know, obviously, you know, I'm really close with those guys and they're down a little bit. But, you know, uh, football goes on. You know, if I'm out there, if I'm not, you know, uh, they have a game to win. You know, they, they need to stay focused. And uh, they're going to go out there and win that game regardless if I'm there or if I'm not there. That's it. Thank you. Thank you.